deep back in this canyon, there's this old mine shaft that's built up uh, right up in the side of the rock face. And they cut this giant hole there where now whenever it rains, the water cascades through and forms a nice looking waterfall. The main purpose for today is to is to really scout out another spot that I'm gonna come back to when everything aligns. But um, today's actually turned out to be a pretty good day. So I've brought my best gear with me in hopes of actually just getting lucky. But my problem is, is the sun's about to go down. I'm gonna use a bike to basically cut a lot of my commute off. It's a long, flat road that really takes a long time to get through. So I'm hoping that I can cut at least an hour to an hour and a half off the journey. Ultimately, what I need to do is get on that bike and start riding to the trailhead so that I at least stand a chance of making it to the waterfall before the sun goes down. to the falls before sunset. It definitely took a lot longer to get out here than I anticipated. Any any takeaway from today is just to get here earlier. The sun is setting really fast. We got a new another rainstorm coming later in the week, so my hopes is that the falls didn't seem to be going off too heavily right now. So hoping that I'll come back in about a week after the rain and enough water has been, uh, I mean, we're coming out of a heavy drought, so um, Hopefully there'll be enough water in the ground now to have a sustained falls for at least a little while. So I get out here, maybe take a couple long exposures, a few drone shots, and check out that mine shaft with the uh, waterfall coming out of it. I'm sure it's going to make for some cool photos, and um, I can't wait to uh, to get back and get up there and check it out. Okay, so it's about a week since the last video I took here, and since then, I mean, we had a pretty substantial storm at that time, and that was just under a week ago, but since then, we've had two atmospheric rivers move through Southern California, creating a ton of water. Um, so this waterfall, it doesn't last long, but it should be going pretty good today. It's been more than 24 hours since the last raindrop fell in this area, but I'm confident with the, uh, by, just by the sound of the water flowing behind me, this was completely absent last time I was here. So I'm really optimistic that there's gonna be a lot of photo opportunities along the way. So what I'm basically gonna do is work my way up through the trail here. It's about two miles long, mile and a half, two miles, quite a bit of scrambling. And so I'll just kind of hurry to get to the waterfalls and then take my time coming back and see what I could capture along the way. So with that, um, we really don't have that much time. So I do want to get started and get as much time as I can on the trail. I got lost along the way.
So after three or four attempts, I finally made it to the Black Star Canyon waterfall. It's incredible. The recent rains have just absolutely filled it up with water and we still got a storm coming in next week. So I'm gonna set up my camera, gonna set up the drone, take some pictures, see what I can come up with, and then really hit it hard next week after this next storm because, I mean, there could even be more water at that point. So make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I come back next week.